Hi, this is Kez and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be looking at some of my wigs and I'm going to be having a bit of a clear out. So I thought as I do it, I'd go through them all, show you what I think, tell you why I might keep them or not keep them. And just to give you a bit of insight into the wigs that I've got. We're going to start with the mono ones or the ones that are slightly better in quality. So the ones that are roughly £100 and up or should be. A lot of them I've got cheaper, but that's the sort of price that we're looking at. Just in case anyone's interested, the makeup that I'm wearing today is by Glam Light, and that is their Rut Roll Shaggy Scooby Doo palette. And I've also got P. Louise on my brows and L'Oreal on my lips, and just trying to remember now. Um, the foundation is Milani 2 in 1, and the blush is Hourglass. And I think, if I remember rightly, the lashes is actually uh, Essence. So, anyway, that's that. I'm going to start and show you the wigs now. I have a whole set of monofilament wigs that I've got, which range in colour and shade. I prefer rooted wigs just because I think they look more natural. You can see at the moment my hair needs redoing. I've got the greys coming through with the roots, um, with the pink. So when I put my wig cap on to do it, I literally just plait my hair because it's quite long in two sides and just pin it with grips either side. That keeps it in all day. And then I pop a wig cap over the top. Wig caps are cheap enough and most people have got plenty. So this will look a bit ridiculous for a minute. I always put the thicker side, the wider bit at the bottom. So that needs to fit around your head. And I try and catch all the hairs around my ears as well. So that when I've got the wigs on, they look as natural as possible. And then once I've done that, I pull it up. And just wear it a little bit like a sock. <laughs> Sometimes you're better off with a lighter wig colour cap. Because my roots are quite dark, I find a darker one works better anyway. But it varies on the wig. Okay, the first one I have here, this is René of Paris. And this is the style India. And the tag says on this one that the shade is Marshmallow, I believe. Yeah, Marshmallow R1, as in rooted, I think. Now, this one... It's quite nice because whoever had it previously to me has helpfully put in some little grips. You can buy these and they're brilliant because they keep the wig in place all day long. So I would advise getting some of these and any of the wigs that you want to wear on a regular basis, you put these clips into. Because I wore this at work all day and it didn't slip once and I didn't feel unconfident wearing it in case it would fall off saying that people now wear wigs for fun anyway so it doesn't really matter but if you do have hair issues and you are uncomfortable it's nice to know that they are secure so i'm going to show you this one now with it being marshmallow um as somebody at work pointed out there's almost a pinky tinge to it in some of the highlights which is great it's a mix of blonde so it's got quite a bit of a balayage style going and the cap is very natural and it does have a lace front on this one which is great. I'm going to pop that on now and show you. With all wigs, they do take a little bit of playing with to get right. Now this one, I think it might have some kind of permities, but I'm not completely sure. But to be honest, I like that because I love retro looks. And sometimes if I want it to look a bit 60s, I will grip it up so that it stands a little bit higher. So that's why I like this one. Now what I tend to do, because you can see the lace, you can cut it shorter if you want, but I tend to pull the fringe across because that way it hides the lace anyway but this is one that i'm keeping because i love this one now a lot of the these sort of wigs are not heat resistant so you can't always style them in terms of using straighteners and things but you can sometimes use a steamer but i quite like that this has got a little bit of a wave to it um, if you want to revive the waves, you can always, as long as you've not straightened it or used artificial heat on it, you can always just use the old fashioned method of just washing it and drying it and just giving it a little bit of a scrunch to get that shape back in. But this is one of the keepy ones. This is Nuiko Sky. The colour, I believe, is Strawberry Swell. Now, I love the colour of Strawberry Swell because it's sort of a mix of blondes and almost like a well, strawberry blonde. But sometimes the styles don't always suit. Now, again, this has got, I think this is more like a permatees top by the looks of it because it doesn't look the same as the normal monofilaments. Um, difference being permatees is lots of little hairs put together to almost make it look real rather than 
a smoother top to it. So this is from the Noriko collection. Um, this one is not lace front, but because of the style of the fringe, it doesn't matter. I'm going to pop this one on. Now with this one, I don't think it suits me at all. It's a beautiful style and it will look lovely on someone, but it just doesn't really do anything for me. So I'm not keen on the fringe. It doesn't matter what side I put it. I don't particularly like it on me. Um, nothing wrong with the wig at all. It's just not for me. I don't like the way the curls, the side curls round. I suppose I could grip it and straighten it, but even so, it just... Short styles, I'm not really... I've got two that I like that are kind of retro looking, but this isn't one of them. So this one's going into the cell pile. Now, this one is from Ellen Will Collection. I thought it was drive, but I'm not completely sure because it doesn't say inside. I bought it as drive, but it doesn't look like drive in the style because drive is a sleep bob and this one isn't. Now, this one was a little bit longer, but I cut it because I didn't like the length. Um, but I just can't make the colour work for me. It's a nice wig, but the shade just doesn't really do anything for me. It's kind of like a, an oaty colour and I just don't think that colour suits me at all. And so this one's also going into the cell pile. It's got a really nice part that you can't see. This one the tag's been removed from so I don't actually know what the wig is. Um, whoever had it previously has cut the tag out and so I don't know what brand it is. It's not a lace front looking at it. And it looks like somebody might have cut the front as well. The colour's really nice though. It's kind of like a honey blondy shade. But again, I can't tell you what the, the make is because I don't know. I really like this wick. Not only is the colour nice, but I love the highness here. And I will often grip it here and do retro looks with it. So looking at it, I think it's probably either a natural image or maybe Rene of Paris, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm just going on the style of it. But I do love, like, it does take a little bit of work because you need to obviously brush it and things like that. And I do find with monofilament wigs and also this sort of acrylic-y type material that you can't straighten, you do have to spend a little bit more time with them. So you can't just plonk and go like you can with some of the synthetics. With these, they do need work and styling to start with but you do get a more natural result and it does look like it's your own hair I mean you wouldn't look at that and say oh she's wearing a wig I don't think um, this one's actually a small cap as well which I like because it sits nicer on my head and it sits tight to my head so I wouldn't need to put anything on this I could just wear it as it is and not be worried that it'd be come, come off or there'd be any problems so that one's in the keep pile it's a shame I don't know what the brand is and I honestly can't remember where I got it from either. I keep them all in little freeze bags just because it keeps them nice. Now, this is another one that I really like. Now this one I do know where it's from. It, although the tag's been removed, I know that this is L Tress one, I believe. Don't know what the style is, but when it came, it was like an angled type bob. But I've cut it so that it's all the same length. Because I didn't want it longer on one side than the other. Now with this one, it has got this sort of front, so it looks more natural. The top of it, again, is this one looks like it is proper monofilament. Don't be fooled by thinking that's a bold patch. It's not. It's just the way I'm holding the wig. So I will show you this one. I love the style of this one. It's really pretty. It's really natural. I'm almost tempted to go out in this one today, but I think I'm going to wear my blonde one instead. But we'll see. So yeah, very pretty. Natural hair. Hairline's good. Doesn't look detectable as a wig at all. Because of the way the front is and my natural hair colour, my own hairline here creates baby hairs. So it looks good. But it was longer on this side than it was on that side. So I cut it to match but I feel very sort of retro in this as if I'm from the 1940s maybe beautiful wig though this one here this is a blonde bob this is one of the ones I do like 
so this is going to be a keep as well this is by aesthetica wigs aesthetica design it doesn't have a shade on it but it just says rt613 stroke 27 which i'm guessing is the color it's apparently from the natural collection according to the tag now i don't usually like yellowy blondes I prefer very light blonde sort of ashes but for some reason I think it's because it's got multiple highlights in this one works again though I think it the top looks more like a permatease because it looks like the baby hairs um, and it's it has it does actually have a, a lace front on this one which has been cut it's a slightly bigger cap it's I wouldn't say it's a big cap but it is probably average which makes it but it still fits really nicely. Um, I've got it on the tightest at the moment so that it sits well. But again, it's a beautiful style bob, just very subtle. And you can mess it around with a fringe to make it look more natural. So this is on the keep section. So, so far there's only actually two on the remove pile. But the whole reason of buying wigs is because you like them. This one is by Hot Hair, and this is the style Nikki. Um, no lace front on this, but it has got a fringe. Now, with this one, it although it's blonde, it's got a few different shades in it, so it looks really nice when it's on. And this is another just popping. It looks fine. Now, this one's got a slightly, like a feathered fringe, I think I'd say, which I really like. Um, it reminds me a lot of Uma Thurman especially in Kill Bill, which is why I really like it. And again, it's a lighter shade of blonde. There's only certain shades of blonde I can pull off. I can pull off this sort of shade if it's got enough highlights in and I can pull off lighter ones, but the honey ones just don't work. So this is definitely on the keepy section. It's really comfortable. I do like hot hair wigs. I've had a few. This one is also Noriko Sky like the other one with the strawberry swell but this is in dark chocolate um now this is going to show you just how different the colors can make a difference because i really don't like it in blonde at all it just doesn't suit me but when i wear it in the brown i really like it it does take a bit of playing with to get it how i like it with the fringe and things but it, again the fringe is quite versatile with this one so you could have it to one side or the other side you know you can sweep it over and can do quite a few bits with it but i love the dark shade on it and i think that's quite a nice retro -y sort of style as well so even though it's the same wig and i don't like it in blonde i do like it in the darker color right we've got another bell tress one here this one is called kahula now when this one first came it was really sort of curly. It had quite a lot of waves in it and curls. Um, shade just says it's BT6052. So I'm not sure what the shade's called. But I didn't like all the waves in it. I thought it was a little bit much. And so I straightened it because this one is actually heat resistant. So it can be straightened. I've left a few of them in. And I really like this because it's like a short pixie style and you can pull it in front of your ears. I don't particularly like my ears. So I think I may have trimmed it a little bit on one side as well. Um, but yeah, this is definitely on the keep. I love the darker roots on it. And I love that sort of very ashy blonde with it. So this is a keepy one. Again, it has a lace front, which is nice. And I think this is proper monofilament because it doesn't have the short hair sticking up. Right, this one is Arrow in Light Bernstein Rooted. Now, I've never tried the Bernstein shade before. Looking at it, it's very similar to the other brown retro one I've got. This is an Ellen Will one as well. Uh, lace front as well, which I love. Quite a natural. Ellen Will's rigs are always brilliant at the roots i'm not sure if this one is heat resistant or not uh, some of the ellen will ones are i've never risked it to try it this one's a longer style so with the bernstein one it's got a mix of colors in it so it's kind of like browns and blondes in together the arrow style is really popular with people and i can see why because i think it's really stunning and i love the waves in this one as well it's very sort of natural 
and I tend to leave it that way as well just to let it sort of show its natural styles to it. It does sometimes tangle a little bit of the nape but nothing that a good brush can't solve and if you look at it there the hairline is so good you can't even detect the lace on there. I mean the lace is there but it, it's practically invisible and that's what I love about Ellen Will wigs. So you do pay a lot more for them, but they are worth every penny, I would say. And I don't think I've, except for that drive one that I've shown you that wasn't drive. Um, I don't think I've got one that I don't like and I've got a lot. So that's that. It's very natural looking. You can just throw it on and go pretty much with this one, which you can't always do with the monofilament one ones. Now this one is again, one of my favorite. This is Beltress Lemonade. I don't know what the shade is, unfortunately, because they don't really say they just have numbers in. But if anyone's looking for this particular shade, it says BT6078, whatever that is. I could probably look it up online, as could you. Now, the interesting thing about this one is that it's kind of a messy blonde. But I really like it. I like that it's messy and you can just throw it on. Obviously, you can pull your hands through it. I think this one was straightened by the previous owner. But it's got such a um, different shades of blonde in it. It's beautiful and the roots are so natural. And you can see this doesn't look at all like a wig. Again, it has got a lace front, but it's transparent so you can't see it. I do find sometimes that the lace on these is quite hard. It sometimes itches your head. But what you can do... There's a couple of things you can do. You can either buy scar tape and put it along it to make it feel better. Or the other thing you can do is put a little bit of something on there, you know, like a clear polish that will just sit between your skin and the wig. Or even a little bit of silicone primer, anything like that, just to smooth it out a bit. So that's a few tips for you if your wig is irritating you. Again, it's on the keep pile. So I'm not getting very far in the Sally ones, unfortunately. What do we have here? I don't know where this one is from. It's a blunt bob. I think it's a natural image, but I'm not 100% sure. It has got a mix of shades in it. And it does have like this sort of front to it. So it's got a slight bit of lace at the front, but it's not full lace. Usually you can tell that it's uh, a natural image one because they also made in Indonesia, which one this one does. But the cap feels a lot better than most caps. It's quite a nice cap. It looks like the dark chocolate shade a little bit in the Noriko ones but I don't think it is now this one at the moment the texture doesn't feel great because whoever I bought it from seems to have put something in it which I think might be conditioner or something to try and probably fabric conditioner to try and soften it but it's made it feel a bit sticky so I'm going to give it a decent wash I have washed it since I've had it but it doesn't seem to have removed the residue, so I'm going to give it another go. But I do like the style. It's quite short. It reminds me a little bit of Uma Thurman in Pulp Fiction, which I quite like. The only problem is if you get kinks like this, the only way you can remove them, except for using a steamer, is to rewash them and dry them straight. Right, this one is Natural Image, and this is from the Influence Inspired range. And the shade is Caramel Glow Rooted. Now this is a stunning wig. I really like this one. Uh, again, lace front. So that helps. And looks like proper monofilament at the top. So there's none of that little baby hair stuff going on here. Unfortunately, it's another keep. <laughs> it does need to be smoothed down a little. The best brush I found for wigs is this one. It came with a Bellamy wig uh, and I believe it's a bamboo brush and it's great for untangling them without doing any damage to the wig whatsoever. It sounds like it is because it's making scratchy noises but that is literally just the, the fibres going through the brush. If you do it gently enough and you don't go absolutely crazy with it. But if you look at the difference, it really smooths down the wigs. So when you're wearing them, they look better. And you don't need to tug. It's just if you find a knot, you just gently pull your fingers through it to detangle it. And then just pull the brush through it. 
and it won't damage any of the fibres. So if you want a decent wig brush, I suggest that you get a bamboo brush. It might be a nice tip but that they actually do them at the pound shop. So if you go into the pound shop and look for a wooden bamboo brush, they are perfect for wigs and cheap. Now, those highlights in this wig are stunning and they just give it that extra dimension. So again, this is beautiful. Really like this one. Looks very natural. It does tangle a lot, I have found, though. That's a bit of a problem. You can help with the tangling by taking... If you take one of those and you run it through just at the very ends and at the nape of the neck, it thins it out a little bit. So they, I think we call them thinning cones. And it's enough to stop it tangling, but not enough to make a difference to the wig itself. So it doesn't look any different, but the ends are a lot easier. It can thin the ends a little bit, though, so if you get carried away. So you have to be careful. Although, to be honest, if you look at your natural hair, your natural hair is always thinner at the ends than it is further up so i actually think it makes it look more like natural hair but that's just my opinion anyway but yeah there we go so that's stunning and quite happily wear this one the part can be shifted quite a bit on this as well which is nice so that is in the keepy pile going to try a few more on and then there'll be a part two video so i'm not going to do them all today because i need to go out but I thought I'd show you some and then we'll do another part. So if you stay tuned, you can come back for that too. have another Ellen Will here. This is Taboo in Rose Pink Rooted. Now with this one, it has got that sort of little baby hairs type thing going. Or it could just be worn, I don't know. I like the roots on it. I like the colour it fades into blonde and then it's got pink at the end now this was originally wavy and the previous owner has straightened it the good thing about this wig is it is heat resistant and so if i want to put the waves back in it i can which i probably will at some point i think they said they had the fringe professionally cut as well um but i've managed to get it back into a side part because i didn't really like it as a full fringe it's not really my kind of thing it looks nice straight but I would probably just add a few waves into the end at some point. But again, you can take them in, put them out how you like. But again, it's a keep. Right, this one here is Rene of Paris. And this one is Riley style in a plumbery jam colour. It's got a lace part, which I love. It's got a natural hairline. And this is stunning because it fades into different shades of purple and there's more than two shades in here it's several shades of purple which really give it dimension stunning color i've had my hair a very similar color before and so i love that i can just pop it back on without having to do my roots again because it's a real pain to keep up this sort of shade but with a wig you can just put it on and go so again it's a keeper it's beautiful, really stunning. It's got really lovely waves in it. I've worn this one quite a few times. It's due a, a nice wash. But yeah, really pretty. This one is by Jean Reno. This is Lucy. And this is one of the most expensive wigs that I've got. It's from the Professional Collection. Colour is Clasters 60. This would have cost a lot of money to get, but I managed to get it in a wig auction, so it was a bit cheaper. Now, it is full lace cap, almost, like all the way around. It's got lace on it, which is amazing. Um, the front is lace, complete. And it's this beautiful sort of whitey shade with waves in it, which I wouldn't usually go for, but I actually really like it. Reminds me a bit of classic Marilyn Monroe or Sabrina from The New Adventures of Sabrina, the Teenage Witch. Which I probably could use it in a cosplay for. But it's just really natural to wear. And it's something that, as you get older as well, you could get away with wearing and people would still think it's your own hair. Obviously, white hair is quite popular now anyway, so younger people wear it as well. 
but I find it's one of those that just doesn't age you, even though it's a lot lighter. Again, it's a keep. Two more and then we're done for today. The next one is Rene of Paris again. This is Lennox in Rainbow Rooted. It's actually a blonde wig, but it's got very subtle highlights going through it of pink and blue. They're very pastel so they're hard to spot. But it's a nice lighter shade of blonde too. It has a lace front, which is great. Uh, top's natural, it's not the little tiny baby hairs. So it's not... Um, can't think of the word that they call it permities that's what they call it so stunning shade really natural on can't detect the hairline at all so this one you could actually wear up if you wanted i mean obviously you'd have to cover up your roots but but you could wear it back quite easily in a pony or you know it's very flexible in that way like you can wear it up if you wanted yeah really nice blonde natural so this is one that i'm keeping and then my last one which i'm going to show you it's by natural image and it's called ice mist in the shade so again lace front but quite a big lace front on it which is quite nice it's a stunning shade as well. It's like a really nice light blonde, but it's also rooted, which I like. It's got the proper hairline as well, not permatease, which I'm happy about. There you go. This is the one we're ending on today. So this is Natural Image. And the shade is Ice Mist. I'm sorry I can't tell you the style but I really don't know what it is but the hairline on it is fantastic you can't detect it as a wig at all especially with the part and it's got little baby hairs here which make it look more realistic but I can lift it up a little there and just mix it in with my own hairline as well I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of these wigs I hope you'll join me for part two when I put it up If you're watching this on TikTok, there will only be a short part of it, but you can watch the full video on my YouTube channel, which I'll also link. Thanks for watching.